Hey guys, it's Annie and today I'm going to be trying out something that may or may not be a really good or bad idea. I found something online that was weird and I know you guys like when I test out weird things. So we're testing this out today, which is a beauty mole removal sweep spot pen. So this is for the removal of moles, beauty marks, sunspots, age spots, uh, skin tags, etc. Things like that. I heard tattoos, but that sounds really scary. I'm not going to try to do that. I have dots all over my body. Like I got some on my neck on my arms, even some on my face. Thank you, genetics. With that being said, if this is something that interests you, I will link it down below. I got it off of Amazon Prime and it was like 30 or $40. P.S. This is not sponsored. I just really am curious to see if this works and also frightened. Try this at your own risk because I'm trying at my own risk. Also hit the like button if you enjoy this video or find it helpful and make sure to subscribe if you're not already and turn on the notification bell because I post videos every week and I would love it if you stuck around. Comment your thoughts below, good or bad. Th this might be a bad idea. This might be a really bad idea, but it's okay. I'm a risk taker. So it comes with the pen and I put this tip on. It comes with multiple tips though. They are all in this little baggie right here. Uh, but I'm gonna use this one because this seems the least intimidating. It also comes with a USB charger and I already charged it up and some numbing cream. So I'm gonna put some of this on me right now. Oh, this may again be a very bad idea. I feel like I just need to overly emphasize to try this at your own risk. Try this at your own risk. Try this at your own risk. Okay. Own risk. I'm trying this at my own risk. You try this at your own risk. Hmm, where should I numb? Also, I threw out the directions. <laughs> so I had to look online how other people did this. So <laughs> that already kind of, I feel like, puts me behind on the learning curve of this. Because for one, I don't know how long to leave the numbing cream on for or much of anything other than what I saw other people do online. Okay, so first of all, gotta turn it on. Okay, and so what you're supposed to do, you press this button down on the top. Oh my gosh, I'm doing this. Okay, I'm gonna wipe the numbing cream off. I have no idea if that was long enough. Oh, and I hear from people online that it smells bad. <laughs> so, oh man. Okay, I'm doing it. I feel that, that's not numb. It doesn't hurt very badly though. Oh, yep, that smells like burning. That's good. something it's lightening it at least let's try a smaller one do you see this one right here I did not numb this one but let's see how that feels without numbing it's still fine or maybe the numbing cream just doesn't do anything oh that actually like broke up the pigment a bit a bit I don't know if you can see That got like half of that one. That one's almost gone. Okay, like this one that I was working on up here, it's like a, gonna be a scab. So I don't know how well you can see. See, I feel like it's hard to tell on camera. The three little spots that I removed on my arm, the brown pigment's gone. They're just like little burn marks. So I'm assuming those will hopefully like heal over. I really don't want to go overboard with this, especially because this is my first time using it. But another thing I saw some people online do this and they say just to leave it and it will scab over and fall off, just like normal people doing normal testimonials. So I'm hoping that is the case. But otherwise I saw like some advertisement videos where they literally just burnt it and it wiped off. So I would say it does not do that. It definitely does not do that. Honestly, it doesn't bother me whatever happens, if they come off or not, or if there's just like little marks there, because I already had marks there anyway. 
But like I said, I saw in some testimonial videos of people saying that it was working well and they just would scab over and fall off after like a week or so. So I'll have to see how this one specifically, uh, how it works out. It's already turning into a scab, so that might work well. It might work well. We'll see. I'm going to put Neosporin on everything to see if it heals up well. Let me know if you want me to do a follow-up video showing you how this healed, or maybe I'll do a few more areas and like try to get the technique down and show you that way. But for my first impression, like I really don't know how I feel. I guess I probably won't know until this is all the way healed, but I again will tell you it does not work exactly like the promotional video show it does. That's my honest opinion on this thing. If you want to try it out for yourself, the link is down below. It's only 30 or 40 dollars. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye guys!